Hi everyone, welcome to study physics. Here's the question number 45. A projectile of mass 1 kg is launched at an angle of 30 degree from the horizontal direction at t equal to 0 and takes time t before hitting the ground. If the initial speed is 10 to 10 meter per second, the value of the action integral for the entire flight in the units of kg meter square per second is and take g equal to 10 meter per second square. So, this is x direction and this is y and a projectile of mass 1 kg is launched at an angle 30 degree. So, this is 30 degree and in the x direction, the velocity is ux which is u0 cos theta if u0 is initial velocity and in y direction, the velocity is uy is u0 sin theta and here u naught is 10 meter per second and g is 10 meter per second square so in this x direction there is no acceleration so the final velocity vx is ux which is u naught cos theta and vy so in this y direction the there is uh, some acceleration so the vy is vy square equal to uy square minus 2gy and uy is e naught sin theta square minus 2gy so we have to evaluate y also because there is okay so we know y is u y t minus half g t square so u y is e0 u0 uh, sin theta t minus of half g t square now they have asked the action integral so we know action integral is integration of 0 to 2 l 0 to t l dt and l is lagrangian which is t minus v so basically we have to find out the potential energy and uh, kinetic energy and potential energy so kinetic energy t is half m v x square plus half m v y square minus potential energy is m g y so m g y so v x square is u naught cos theta m u naught cos theta square sorry this is l plus half m v y is vy square is u naught sin theta square minus 2gy minus mgy u naught cos theta square plus half m u naught sin theta square minus of 2 2 will be cancelled out so mgy and this is minus mgy so 2 mgy half m u naught cos theta square plus half m u naught sin theta square minus 2 mg u naught sin theta t minus half g t square So, just put this value. So, here m is 1 kg, u0 is 10 meter per second, sin 30 is 1 by 2, cos 30 is root 3 by 2, 
g is 10 meter per second square okay so half into 1 u naught is 10 cos theta is root 3 divided by 2 square plus half m u naught 10 into 1 divided by 2 square minus 2 into 1 into 10 10 into 1 divided by 2 t minus half into 10 into t square so this is 100 into 3 divided by 2 into 4 plus oh this is 1 this is 100 divided by 2 into 4 minus 20 into 10 t divided by 2 plus 20 into 10 divided by 2 t square Seventy five divided by two this is twenty five by two minus two hundred T this is also hundred T square. So this is basically fifty minus 100 t minus plus 100 t square so a, a action integral 0 to t l dt 0 to t 50 minus 100 t plus 100 t square dt so we have to know the value flight time t is 2u sin theta divided by g u naught so 2 into 10 into sin 30 so 1 divided by 2 divided by 10 so this is 1 so the upper limit will be 1 so 0 to 1 50 minus 100 t plus 100 t square dt so 50 t minus 100 t square by 2 plus 100 t cube divided by 3 0 to 1 so this is 50 minus 100 divided by 2 plus 100 divided by 3 so this is 50 and 50 by 2 will cancel out so 100 divided by 3 so this is 33.3 so the value is the action integral for the entire flight in the units of kg meter square second inverse is 33.3 thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe